What is going on guys? Wiser here and I am bringing the recap of one of the last wars for Invicta. Uh, it was, uh, Jesus, so long ago. Uh, I think it was just a, it was a random matchup against War 101, which is actually the feeder clan for Immoral Thieves. Uh, the Immoral War family is just uh, awesome. They're part of the DWA. Uh, actually, I believe uh, 2.0 just lost to Immoral Thieves not too, too, too long ago. Um, Anyhow, uh, so this is a really good group of guys. Uh, Invicta did have a bit of an advantage, or quite an advantage, I should say, <clears throat> going into this one. Sorry, guys, if I sound kind of strange. I've uh, been really sick the last couple days. This freaking head cold is just getting me. Uh, anyways, 97, 92, but wasn't really the tale because uh, Invicta did have an advantage up top, down low, and in Heroes, I believe, too. So uh, it was really tough, and War 101 really brought a good game, even though uh, a five-star victory didn't seem that way. They, they really, really gave us a run for their money. Uh, so this really good group of guys, uh, let's just check them out real quick, right? Uh, remember the DWA, 100% fair play. Uh, their YouTube, Immortal Clashing. Please go check them out, guys. This is a really awesome, awesome fair play clan. Uh, anyhow, uh, they brought the best they could do with the disadvantage that they had uh we had an extra town hall 11 and i believe they had a down low um at least a town hall 8 and maybe a 9.5 <clears throat> anyhow so they did pretty well considering the considering the chances they had uh, you can see Invicta did a pretty good job, though, all over, right? Uh, twos on everything. Even got a three-star on uh, this sort of Town Hall 10. Uh, I think it only had one Inferno Tower. Uh, I think that was a 9.5. We also had a 9.5, though. <clears throat> and then clean the board. Yeah, Ron Burgundy. <clears throat> so, uh, got a really, a lot of really nice replays, actually, more than usual, uh, this was a really cool war, uh, want to give it, uh, the attention it deserves, we're gonna start this off with my man, Hinraka, going in with this, uh, sort of Queen Walk Lalo, only brings the three, uh, you know, the Town Hall 8 defenses, a lot of times, guys, if you're hitting sort of, uh, you know, these 8.5-esque bases, at bases so this is an 8.5 so really um i should have recognized that at first but uh you know a really good 8.5 because it's got 22 24 heroes um but clearly all town hall eight mostly defenses other than the air defense maybe the teslas if one pops but uh so hen goes in here with the three healers recognizes that level 30 queen but no king right so you look at the uh you know, it's a town hall 9 hitting an 8.5, or sorry, uh, yeah, an 8.5, but <clears throat> I think I might have said 9.5 earlier, sorry, like I said, I'm on meds, <laughs> bear with me here, <laughs> but no king, right, so Hin recognizes that, going to go and take out the CC, is about to lock onto that arch queen, down goes that defensive arch queen, taking out the uh, air defense number one there. Uh, going to continue on do work, but a huge, huge piece of this raid is already taken care of. Uh, these air defense are, aren't in necessarily terrible locations, but um, there's not a lot to get to them. Like, if you deploy loons, uh, there's only one place for these things to go, right? So here comes this Lava Hound. You can start just getting some loons on the back end here to start cleaning up the stuff. So everything just goes in a uh, clockwise rotation. Tesla Farm pops there. Just about to drop a Rage. There it goes. All the Teslas, everything's just going to go down instantly. Hound's going to move on over. He's going to drop another Hound here. There it goes. Boom, it bursts. So two Hounds of Burst. He's got the... Uh, I might have dropped the Max Lava Hound first, but he does still have two air defenses to go. They are both now locked onto that Hound. Going to slowly, slowly take it down. I don't think it bursts by the end of that. No, the Queen steps up, takes out the air defense before it's too late. Look at all these balloons. Like, just smashes this base. No King. Level 30 queen is a beast. Just ripping through those Town Hall 8 defenses. Clearly, it's cleanup time. Hi, right, giddy. Ay, yay, yay. Treat in the bag for Hinraka. No king. Job, man. No king versus no expos. <coughs> uh, uh, what's next on my list? Number, oh, one up. 28 satyr going in i wanted to show this one i was experimenting with a base like this i just don't think it's 100 percent viable and uh satyr makes a really good example here out of this very overly exaggerated like alleyway dead zone i talk about those open dead uh open alleyways all the time and this is kind of the opposite this is when it's closed off there's nothing in there you use a crap ton of walls 
just to fill in those spaces. And what you end up doing is, right, you, end up, you can do what Saturn does here, but what you end up doing is sectioning off very, very, very important things. So it's very easy to just deal with it, right? So two dragons here, nothing can touch these funneling uh, goblins here. And he's already pulled out the CC, poisoned it, taking care of that. Uh, so everything is just going to continue to funnel on this side. He's got two dragons. He's going to drop three arch towers is not enough to take down any dragons. Like just easy drag swap down here brings 10 Valks and a cold blooded golem. And there's only five compartments, right? So <laughs> doesn't even bring a jump spell. I thought that was kind of neat because he's got 10 Valkyries with no jump, but there's only a s small amount of walls he needs to get through. Once he gets over here and bursts through one of these walls, he's only got really one more set of walls to get through. So it brings the rage, brings three heals, has a handful of hogs he's just going to sprinkle in to support these Valks, and just rips through this top section of base. There's only five compartments, remember, so 10 Valkyries to get through five compartments. Lose ones for a spring, rages up that king, the golem's finally worn out, drops the queen in behind, she's going to start the DPS, look at this, 10 Valks on this wall, just drops a heal, going to take care of that, rips this wall to pieces, down it goes. <clears throat> Valks are going to continue on. Queen's going to continue to stand up there and mop up. Drag swap is clean. I should zoom. Oh, I am zoomed out. Uh, but there's not a lot. 50% of the base is already dead. Has all, like, maybe still seven Valks, I want to say. Under heal, drops those seven hogs uh, to reinforce the Valks in the compartment they could not get to. And just easy peasy, right? Has so many units left. Look at that golem, sorry. Um, I thought it burst earlier than it did, but it did not. Golem's just standing around. Look at him doing a dance there. Back and forth. Doesn't know what to do. There's no defenses left. Let's just beat on this wall here for funsies. <laughs> all this trash is all there is to go. A couple archer, or one archer tower down there. No big deal. Dun, dun, dun. Whoa, my cats are not getting along. Treat in the bag for Satyr. Uh-oh. 24. This is BC. Uh, so not sort of interesting base design. This is obviously it's not a symmetrical base, but it, it's a very compact base. Like, none of these compartments... Um, what am I trying to say? Uh, these compartments are all sort of jumpable into each other, but it's, it, I mean, this is sort of a deterrent for Valks. You look at, you look at this base, you look at the jump spells, it's sort of hard to, to exactly predict where your Valks are going to go, but only one jump gets you into so much, right? You burst open this wall, you jump over this section, and it's going to get you into like basically... You know, the whole middle core of this section from 6 o'clock up. Uh, and then you just have to deal with the outside with the hogs. He brings 20 hogs, bunch of Valks going in there. Uh, here comes this jump spell I'm talking about. Bam, any second, maybe not. <laughs> just tears through the wall, I guess. There is a jump spell, any second, I swear to God. Which is going to let me do even more now. Ugh, failed jump spell. Sorry there, BC. I, I didn't realize that at first. I thought you just jumped that. I didn't notice they freaking busted down that wall. And after that being said, you should have just jumped up here. It would have let you into so much more. But it doesn't matter. You got 20 hogs. They're all going in. Three heals. There's not a lot for them to worry about. One heal went down over the Valks there. Uh, I believe trips the double giant bomb with uh, two hogs here. No bomb there. Wow. I am out of it today. What a crappy day at work for me. <clears throat> hogs are in under that last heal, though. And there's an Expo, a Tesla, Wizard Tower to go. Arch Tower. This compartment is going to be no big deal. Double poison there as uh, kind of swag. <laughs> there goes that double giant bomb. Ay ay ay. Clean up time. But that's why you gotta look at the compartment sizing, guys. If if you can just jump over all of that and let let uh, Valks like really that jump let access to the queen and both double giant bomb sets so that was a big big flaw of the base but that's treat in the bag for bc <clears throat> Jeez, louise right lime killer going in here sort of another very similar base but this one i wanted to show because um 
when you have compact bases like that, you leave very exposed sections. This queen standing right in between these two air defense is a big, big no-no. This I've seen in a lot. Of, this is not, but not a form base, but it's um, like a lot of form bases when you break it down. Because uh, if you can just send in a kill squad and get both those air defense and the queen and the CC lured out, you're in huge good shape to lalo the rest of the base. So rage goes down. Oop, sorry. <clears throat> Rage goes down, poison goes down, queen's in there doing work, but you can see both air defense are definitely going down. Gets a sweeper in the process. She's going to rage up that queen. She's going to get a couple more buildings, and down she goes, but no big deal because he's got three lava hounds, 14 balloons, a rage, and three haste to take care of this very compact sections of the base. Haste goes down a little bit early on that. Um, maybe was a fat finger early i don't know maybe not uh but pushes those loons in i would have dropped it a little further up because they would be hasted still right now and on top of that stuff already uh but gonna rage over top that air defense once that tesla goes down it's gonna throw everything back on into the core here uh a few more balloons down on each defense on the outside here bam 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 look at that one balloon soak up like three traps on that side has four balloons in the core gonna get that expo in the process has to get this air defense down but he's got like six seven balloons going in on top of it down everything goes wizard tower is the last threat but clearly it's gg for this base hey yeah 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 <clears throat> look at all those pups pups on like every single building almost Kablam. It's a tree in the bag for lime. Good job, man. Um, a couple more here. Beer me. Nice six-pack war, I believe. Uh, brings a little queen walk. Govaho. Get this going here. So she is going to get actually a pretty good value. She kind of goes up here and takes out this whole top section of the base. Giant goes down to help tank, make that wizard create it. I believe he's going to open the wall up here. Yeah, there it goes. Going to just kind of walk her into this section. I guess charge her, whatever you want to say. She doesn't go that far into the base, though. And in fact, I think this, this goes wrong. Yeah, he wants her to go in here. That's right. Well, that's why I wanted to show this one. And she goes up. Totally not what he wanted. Obviously wanted to go in, take out the expo, take out the air defense, um, and just just get like he can get a lot of defenses here. There's not a lot up in here, so this does not go to plan for Pyramid. At this point, he's trying to figure. He's like, okay, well, <laughs> can I just continue my deployment as is and get the same result? And it turns out to be that way because uh, drops the minions early. You can tell that was all to plan. He's just kind of creating that funnel for the Vox. Golem goes in. Going to just take out the rest of these trash buildings. Open up this wall here. Here come those wall breakers. Everything's opening on up. Just nice and clean. Golem goes in. Drops another wizard. But see the queen charge or the funneling from the queen charge. Already kept the funnel here, right? Even if you, yeah, he's dropping the Vox right now. Even if they kind of strayed to the outside, it doesn't matter. There's only one place to go into that queen chamber. And then... Instead of getting these sort of defenses here, this queen is still ends up just walking around the base and cleaning everything up, right? Drops the heel over the Valks there, keeping them alive. Down goes that defensive queen. Down goes the rest of this. Jump is going to let everything into this section. It has 13 hogs going to send into this. <laughs> Boat to drop the rage, I believe, for the queen. Da -da -da, get it down. There it goes. Queen's going to get big value on that Tesla farm now under that rage. They're going to take out the rest of this stuff. So instead, decides to deploy the hogs over on this side. One heel is about to go down right over top of that expo. Now, I believe does make a little bit of bacon here. There goes that heel. Oh, doesn't quite see a very strange DGB there. Uh, probably was just better off leaving it right in between the air defense and expo because then would have made bacon there. Uh, but gets that heel down just in time, and it's clearly cleanup time for this base. Mm -mm -mm. Tree in the bag for beer me. Sexy six pack. All right, 17. This mystic. I want to show this one very sort of interesting base design. Um, Mystic brings a very light Valk uh, Queen walk uh, 
Govaho, but uh, only four Valkyries, so it doesn't invest too, too much in it and doesn't really need to. You're going to kind of see how this works out. Um, just going to walk the queen up to the 12 o'clock section here. This takes a little bit of time. Fast forward this. Da, da, da. Sure, that uh, Dark Elixir drill goes down. That was good placements on the minion and wizard. So she's going to continue her way up now, which is absolutely perfect, because that's exactly what he wants. Down goes the cannon, mortar, going to walk on up, take out that Tesla. Rage goes down, poison goes down. CC gets lured out. She's going to take that stuff out, get the rest of the other three Teslas there, take out that balloon, take out just huge value on that walk. The problem with this base is this little inlet. It just let the queen have access to so much there. Uh, so she got really good value. Drops that golem now now with uh, the four Valkyries. The king goes in behind. Jump spell is going to let unlock a big portion of this base. And most importantly, this little uh, queen chamber with the uh, clan castle in it. Valks lock onto that queen. King goes in on that queen. Down she goes. Hits the ability on the king to uh, rage it up. Hogs are now in, reinforcing in all sections of the base. There's not much left of this base now. 54% uh, of it is down, uh, but there's not a lot of defenses left. Queen's now kind of doing cleanup. There's only a whiz tower up there. Expo is literally the only threat to go on this base, and it's all over. DGB makes a little bit of bacon at the end, but it's the last defense to go down. Whoop. <clears throat> that is tree in the bag for Mystic. The swag poison to boot. Right, I think uh, one more here. Oh, said I wanted to show 16. Yeah, actually, Gravy has a really nice head here. I always like seeing Town Hall 9 witches. Gravy brings four witches here. I thought that was just awesome. Uh, and the what the reasoning behind it is he's looking and he's like, okay, I'm gonna get a mortar, a whiz tower. He sends hogs in on these on these two whiz towers to get them down early. And then doesn't have a lot of splash damage to deal with like in the core here. So gets really good values on the witches. I think two of them are still alive at the end of the raid. Earthquake just opens up a large, large section here. <laughs> kind of get this started up. Golem goes in. <clears throat> Queen's in there just kind of doing work behind that golem. Funnel is now created. Opens up the wall. <clears throat> golem finally reroutes once that uh, defense goes down. A couple wizards are down. Here come the witches. One, two, and three. Three and four. All these skeletons are going to work into this base. Our, uh, Archer Queen steps up, takes out the Wiz Tower just perfect, and watch these hogs he sends in very, very early to take out these Wizard Towers. Uh, po um, no poison, sorry. Uh, rage, 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 rage. No, he's going to rage here. Hits the ability on the Queen. Probably didn't need to do that. What's he saving this rage for? Am I crazy? <clears throat> rage coming any second. I know it's coming. <laughs> I saw that. I swear I saw this rage over the core. Maybe he wants to. Maybe he swags the rage actually. Uh, but see those. Uh, see those hogs. Like the the uh, witches are not even in range of the whiz towers, and those hogs are already taking down those whiz, uh, taking them down. Uh, all in the rest of the section of the base are hogs now moving in. Heel goes down. This uh, definitely bombless. Uh, I, mean, I guess there could have been one bomb there, uh, but definitely not a huge threat to this compartment, especially when there's a heal down. Hogs moving in, only two defenses to go. This base is done for. Dun, 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 and it's definitely going to be tree in the bag for McGrady. Yeah, two witches still alive. So, considering those witches were deployed, I don't know, let's say like. 20 seconds into the fight um that's a lot of skeletons over those two minutes so really good value on that greedy nice job all right now i got one more this is yo-yos i think this is only the t the only th10 triple oh no i got tripled so that can't be true uh, but and again like i had mentioned there's only one inferno tower on this base so sort of a half bully we'll call it <laughs> especially with a level 40 queen she is just boss moving in here. Healers are down. She's going to work and take out this defensive arch queen and a bunch of defenses in the process. Rage goes down. Down goes that queen. 
I'm going to continue her way along here and just get big value in this little open alleyway. Yes, this same principles apply, especially at TH10. She's going to walk in here and just mop up all of this stuff. Second rage goes down for it. Down goes that king. Golem's been in from uh, 12 o'clock with that king. Just working in this base. They're going to meet up with the queen here as well in this little kind of open alleyway, which is absolutely great. Uh, so in goes the Lava Hound, right? He's got three air defense to deal with, but that queen is in there. The king is in there. Just gets everything in there nice and early, but he knows for sure that the queen is going to continue up and finish off that air defense it's even before the loons get in there, right? So all the loons moving in from kind of the 9 o'clock to 6 o'clock locations. Haste go down kind of a little bit off on the one haste because he ended up missing like both balloons on both sides. Uh, but the next haste gets everything thrown in on the expo. Inferno Tower is about to go down. See you later. Air defense number four goes down. It's clearly going to be cleanup time. Another kind of <laughs> misplaced haste, but it doesn't matter. It's tree in the bag for yo-yo. Sexy. All right. So absolutely fantastic war, war 101. Um, you know, you guys put up a hell of a fight considering the disadvantage you had. So much respect. Props to you guys. Uh, some nice base designs in there. We did really had to use uh, all of our attacks wisely to uh, to come away with the victory. You know, you had a little bit of struggles down low, which is to be expected with quite the uh, hero disadvantage. Um, you know, missed a few of the nines in there. Uh, and that was the difference in the war, guys. So, uh, you know, you three star, uh, three star wisers, freaking crummy ten there. Ride round got three star as well. So, uh, really good job up top. You know, a little bit of work to do on those elevens, but uh, fantastic war, war one on one. Really happy to match up with you guys, and uh, hopefully maybe we can match up on a little more even ground next time. Um, but uh, hats off. So uh, Invicta, fantastic work, gentlemen. Uh, really nice to see a clean board like that, and uh, TH10 triple uh, on top of it. So uh, I'm going to call it a day. I think this is an insanely long recap, and I feel like I'm talking in a space helmet because I'm so sick, and clearly I'm out of it. So <laughs> that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser, guys. Just trying to help it bag that next tree star. Till then, I'm out.